Nah, so for Esso, man, like my big thing with Esso is that I want to do, that I wanted to do something different. What I've learned throughout working in restaurants over, you know, the past six years of my life is that when you make a dish, when she, like, let's, for example, because this is something you could relate to, like when you see Chef Henry make a dish, when you see him plate up something beautiful, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, you look at it and you watch him work and you, you see like the effort he put into it, the perfect cuts, you know, this, that, and the third and you taste it and you do you feel that connection and then he gives that mise en place to me for example yeah and or he gives that mise en place to another cook or whatever it is and then you throw 200 covers on that it's not the same right and what i wanted to do with esso was you know the reason why we don't cook any of the food is like okay i put my everything into this sauce i put my everything into this pasta here you feel me yeah here's the instructions here you go. Nice. Because I can't make this perf- like perfection for everybody mm. in one night. Right. For seven nights a week. Right. But what I Five can do, <laughs> what I can do is do all the work that leads to the perfection. And all you got to do is go home, put the sauce in the pan, boil the noodles, follow the instructions that I give you, and you'll have that. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That the, the my big takeaway from working in restaurants was that like Chef Henry said to me one time, he was like, the only person that really knows what I want is me. Mm-hmm. And that really stuck with me. I was like, you know, you're right, man. Like I can't, you know, even if even if I do even if you tell me to do something and I do it perfectly, I still probably didn't follow it step by step the way you did. Right. And at some point that'll probably trip me up. At some point there's gonna be a you know, I'm gonna straight from yeah, the path yeah. it's just natural it's not your vision especially not, under pressure you right. know what i mean and then you know talking about the pressure it's like you can't no one no one can like unless uh, speaking from like the understaffed point of view that we were always in and j- most restaurants are in yeah you cannot perform you know the same way with 30 guys as you know with 10 right and you know when you got 10 guys taking care of 300 guys versus 30 guys taking care of 300 guys yeah, it's a you know, huge so difference. like for yeah. me, like with Esso specifically with the pasta, I just wanted to give the customer, the guests, the clients, just like my everything, right, and make it as simple as possible for them to have my experience at home. You know what I'm saying? That was really important to me. Yeah. And then as far as expanding into something new, we have you know we have a lot of things up our sleeve that don't even involve pasta. That don't even, you know what I'm saying? And it's oh, you're, you know because so you're, you're, you know I you know there's you know there's spending. more to it, but yeah, you know it it's just. We need to, like I said, we're, you know, I'm a little behind right now as we're having this conversation. Yeah. We need to get this to run itself. And once that happens, then we can sit back and say, okay, now it's time to, you know, let this loose. Right. And get that to run itself. And we'll let that loose. You know what I'm saying? Get some more and, ammo, know, get them clips in there. Right. And, you know, it's, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen over years. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not, there's no rush. Right. So, but, you know, we got it. You That's know, good we though. Got I'm it. glad you can, like, you know, get the traction down to where you need it. It's not like okay like they want i gotta get it like you're, you're moving at your at your pace you know you may feel like you're behind it appears that you're ahead it, right it, and it, you it know appears that you're uh, and that's all that matters you right. know what i mean <laughs> yes yeah, at so the end of the day you're, you're, you're blanking it well